Hello, uh, my project is the effect of sunscreen solubility on its ability to adhere to a scored glass slide. So question number one, summarize your project, including the basic science uh, principles of my project. Um, so I decided on my project because of the background research I did. Um, the active ingredients in sunscreens pose a threat to coral health, uh, especially the active ingredients that are chemical filters. Chemical filters are uh, carbon compounds that protect against UV radiation, um, but all of them have been proven dangerous to coral health. So in my research, I was looking into their chemical formulas and I realized that they are all soluble in water, um, which presents the question, is solubility the linking factor between these chemicals that causes uh, them to be so dangerous for coral health? Um, I further developed this question to make it into my experiment uh, based on sunscreen solubility and its ability to adhere to a, coral to a scored glass slide. Um, so I used three different commercial sunscreens, um, all of which use chemical filters to make three calibration curves. So these calibration curves um, start at a ratio of um, one part per millionth of um, sunscreen to water ratio to make it sunscreen water solution and then increase to one part per billionth. Um, each of these um, and then there's a calibration curve for each uh, sunscreen brand. So um, I dip the scored glass slide. The scored glass slide represents um, the porous skeleton of hard stony coral um, just because it can be tested with uh, UV visual spectro um, spectroscopy, and it's much easier to get a hold of. Um, so I dip the score glass slide into the solution, uh, test it for uh, radiation absorbency with the UV vis visual spectroscopy to um, see how the solution adhered to the, uh, to the scored glass slide. Um, I did this for all the calibration curves for all of the uh, solutions for each of the sunscreens, and then repeated that process with a uh, with the slide coated in a lipid to imitate um, the natural lipid coating on um, natural coral. Um, I also did this with a control group, which was just a, um, a regular scored glass slide with nothing on it. Uh, so, number two, describe the, res the describe the support you received from others in completing your project. Um, it was pretty much all on my own. I did all the research by myself, all the planning. Um, I received the UV visual spectroscopy, or I was allowed to use that by the Mass Research Institute at my school. Um, but everything else I did on my own. Uh, number three, discuss strengths and weaknesses of my experimental design. Um, one of my strengths is that this uh, project is pretty much unprecedented. Um, using a scored glass slide, I haven't seen in any other research. And um, so that's original on my part. And um, it makes it much easier to experiment because it's difficult to get um, actual stony coral. Um, one of my weaknesses, though, is that I wanted to find three sunscreens, each with one active ingredient uh, that would be a chemical filter, but this wasn't possible, so I had to settle on three sunscreens, all with the same active ingredients, but in different percentages, so I could test uh, how different uh, chemical filters adhered to the glass slide. And then number four, explain the importance of my investigation to the real world. So this research is important because it provides insight on why certain chemicals are so harmful for the environment. And also research like this can help um, us find ways to make coral safe sunscreen in the future. And finally, number five, tell about an unexpected outcome or something I learned during this project. Uh, while doing the background research, I learned a lot about organic chemistry that I had not previously known. Um, I learned how to, how to identify polar molecules because uh, polar molecules are, sol are soluble in water. And um, it was how I identified which active ingredients would be soluble in water. So, thank you. Thank you so much.